if you want to use fasting as a tool to weight loss, amazing, welcome. I'm super happy you're here. But what I'm hoping is that as you experience the benefits of fasting, that you actually stay for all of the other health benefits. And next to weight loss, the second most important benefit that I have seen after over a decade of researching fasting is on the brain. So let's talk about the brain benefits of fasting. There are so many benefits of fasting. I've done over 2000 videos here on this channel, really helping break that down for you all. But the one part of fasting that I personally think doesn't get enough attention is what fasting can do for your brain. So I wanna dive in this video into three very specific reasons and why I actually think women in general should be thinking about fasting for brain health. I'm not leaving the men out, but especially as women are going through menopause and that brain fog kicks in and the forgetfulness, the lack of cognition, this is where fasting really shines. So let's dive in so you can understand the science and you can make it really applicable to your life. First, if you don't know, my new book, Age Like a Girl, is out for order and this is the premise, a huge premise of this book is what we can do to support our brains as we go through menopause because when you look at the neuroscience on the brain changes that happen to women during menopause, it's actually quite remarkable that our brains are changing for the better and fasting really fits into this. So stick with me as I go through the science on this video because it's very, very exciting. So first, when you start, especially women over 40, let's just put some age groups here. When you start to move into those perimenopausal years, what you start to see is that the brain becomes less able to use glucose for energy. So I want you to realize that your brain is like a hybrid car. It has two major fuel sources. One is glucose, which is blood sugar. It comes from food that you eat. The second one is ketones, which comes from burning fat. So, which is another real side benefit is you can enhance your brain and burn fat at the same time. But you, in order to get your brain to work the way you want it to work, you have to feed it both fuel sources. So you need glucose and you also need ketones. This is why a lot of people when they fast feel like their brains have been supercharged. For women over 40, this glucose fuel source, your brain becomes less able to use that fuel source. So you're not all of a sudden, something like mysterious didn't happen to your brain overnight. You're not becoming cognitively impaired. Um, this is not a permanent lasting change. If you understand that after 40, you need to slant more towards this ketone fuel source. This is how you start to bring that brain clarity back. And what's interesting is the research is it's it's profound. I mean, in an age like a girl in general, I have over 450 peer reviewed citations on many different aspects of lifestyle and menopause. And many of those are around this brain clarity that a ketone can provide. So when we look at the fasting benefits that create this mighty molecule, the first thing that I wanna point out is that a ketone, when you switch over into this fasted state and you start burning fat for energy, you start making ketones, you also start making a very powerful molecule called BDNF. BDNF stands for brain-derived neurotropic factor and it is like miracle grow for the brain. And it is also one of those mighty molecules that goes away when estrogen starts to decline. So this is why, and put in the notes if this is you, that you can pick up a book and you start to read a book and you're like, anybody done this? Like you're like four pages into the book and you're like, ah, oh, what did I just read? This is also why you can start a task. I'll, be the, I'll call myself out on this one right now. I've been trying to sit down to do this video for several hours now, um, and my brain kept getting distracted. We, we can get that ADHD brain going when estrogen starts to go down. So when you fast and you bring BDNF into the picture, 
you actually start to supercharge your brain. And now if you think about these, these neurons in your brain, what they do is they start to grab onto information and bring it into the brain to integrate it. So the research, like I said, is really profound. I want to break it down for those of you that are the science hounds. So when BDNF is high, so when estrogen was high, BDNF was high. When you exercise, that's another way you do HIIT training and you start to exercise, especially HIIT training, then BDNF goes high. When you fast, and we'll talk about lengths of fast here in a moment, when that goes high, BDNF goes high. And what that does is it forms new neuronal pathways. So your neurons have these little dendrites on the end. And what happens is the dendrites and the neurons are sending information from one neuron to the next. It's like a information highway up there. So when you feel like your brain's a little sluggish and the highway is congested, it's BDNF that comes in and clears the mess, unclogs the highway so that the information can, can come into your brain and integrate to the other parts of your brain, the different brain centers. So we also know that when BDNF is high, it's not just about speed. This communication is stronger and the neurons are able to communicate with each other better. So this also means you don't walk into another room and go, oh, why was I here? That is, can be a sign of low BDNF. Now a 2019 review in Cell Neuroscience noted that BDNF is also good for memory. So those of you that are like, oh, what was that person's name? Oh wait, I, I, what was I supposed to do? This is where BDNF can come into play. And they found that people who had higher levels of BDNF had lower risks of dementia. Now, I don't know about your algorithm on your socials, but lately I've been seeing a lot about the fear of dementia, especially when in, in terms of AI. I've seen a lot of conversation about, is AI making us dumber? I also see dementia is a really popular con, uh, topic right now when it comes to ultra processed foods. But one of the easiest things we can do is we can fast so we get that BDNF up, and according to this study, is that it will lower your risk of dementia. In fact, another study, a 2017 study in Neurology International followed 29 healthy in adults during Ramadan. This is where all so many cool BDNF study, uh, studies come from. And they fasted from sunrise to sun, uh, sundown, which was about 16 hours for a full month. So they did it continuously, 16 hours a day continuously. And they found that it not only did it increase each day, there was a high level of BDNF, but that the average BDNF level almost doubled from the measurement they used from 221 to 417 on the 29th day. So they did little, think about that, 16 hours of fasting every single day for 30 days and the BDNF levels doubled in these participants. There's also another study that's really interesting that came out of Germany that had people do the same thing where they fasted 16 hours a day for 30 days and their BDNF levels increased more and more each day peaking on the 30th day. So this, what does that mean? This means continual fasting, building a fasting lifestyle is not going, not just going to increase BDNF today, but over time it'll increase BDNF so you have faster learning, better memory, and you slow that brain aging. Okay, second thing that fasting does besides BDNF. I, I, I may be a little bit of a BDNF ge geek because it's so cool when you feel that BDNF in your brain and you just feel like you can grab onto information and it's just gonna stick there. So the second one is built around fasting and mental clarity. So this is a huge piece of Age Like a Girl because so many of you have asked me about fasting in postmenopausal years. You have also asked me, what do we do about the brain fog? What do I do about the forgetfulness? And I've been thinking a lot about that over the last several years. I've had some really interesting conversations with Dr. Lisa Moscone, who wrote the book, The Menopause Brain. And one of the things that I definitely am doubling down on right now 
is that postmenopausal women absolutely need to be leaning into fasts for that mental clarity. Yes, BDNF is going to help with the memory, it's going to help with the learning, but it the mental clarity and the focus that comes when you are in a fasted state is really impressive. So I, there's a lot of information out there in the zeitgeist, uh, having conflicting points of view, saying that postmenopausal women shouldn't fast, and I strongly, strongly disagree with this. And one of the reasons I strongly disagree with it is because of the research showing us the improvement in mental clarity when people fast, when specifically women, postmenopausal women. So there was a 2024 randomized controlled trial in cell metabolism that found that daily intermittent fasting improved executive functioning in healthy adults over 55. Now, what is executive functioning? Executive functioning is your prefrontal cortex. Okay, now stick with me for a moment because this is really important. Your prefrontal cortex works in conjunction with your amygdala. They're constantly in communicating with each other. When you go into a fear response, your amygdala is the one that's in charge. But when we are in a, a part of the brain where we can see hope and possibility, we can, we can take on big tasks, we are in the prefrontal cortex, which is that part of executive functioning. We also know that the prefrontal cortex is bathed with estrogen receptor sites. So a lot of us start to lose our ability to focus. We lose our ability to uh, access uh, that executive functioning. So we're not able to like take a task on and see it all the way through. And this can be temporary because of loss of estrogen, but you can bring it back through fasting and it's free. So again, don't believe me. I want you to try it. There's also a 2020, uh, for review in the preventative medicine records that found that intermittent fasting improved global cognitive functioning and reasoning skills in healthy older adults. And it's really important that, and, and worth noting that the people who fasted consistently again saw the biggest improvements in mental clarity. So if you're 55, if you're 60, if you're a 65 year old woman and you're really dealing with that mental clarity, brain fog challenge, let's get you fasting so you can be doing it, and, and fasting not just for one day, let's get you in the habit of fasting so you can get those ketones. Guess what? Age Like a Girl, my new book, it's ready for pre-orders. And this is the most personal book I have ever written. And I'm so excited to bring it to you. If you are looking to reinvent yourself through the menopause process, or maybe you're on the other side and you're still looking for that reinvention, I'm gonna show you exactly why menopause works in your favor and how you can make it your greatest moment yet. Age like a girl. Okay, third thing. So we've got BDNF for cognition, for memory. We've got mental clarity for focus and executive functioning. And the third and probably one of the more exciting parts of ketones and fasting is that it really slows the aging of the brain down. And I spent a lot of time in researching this book on what the ketone does from a neuroprotective standpoint. And I wanna walk you through this before I dive into the research on this. When we are exposed to physical, chemical, emotional stressors in our life, these little neurons become very vulnerable. This is at the seat of Alzheimer's. We know that Alzheimer's is the brain's inability to use glucose. We know that Alzheimer's, there's a piece of it that is toxicity. Dale Bredesen, uh, the author of End Alzheimer's, taught us this. We also know that Alzheimer's can be the, a function of lack of purpose. It's, it's multifactorial. But what we are not emphasizing enough is that when we fast, we make a ketone and these ketones become protective over these neurons. So if cortisol tries to hit it, if mold tries to hit it, if heavy metals try to hit it and destroy these neurons until they tangle up into these, these tau proteins start to tangle up, which is the beginning of Alzheimer's and dementia, that process can't happen because the ketone acts like a shield over these neurons. 
And there was a 2020 study in F1000 Research Journal that found during and after menopause, your brain becomes less efficient at processing glucose, which is giving you this brain fog. So we know this, and it's been well documented. Alzheimer's is a big concern, but we also know it through the lens of eesh, too much glucose. What's really interesting is that there is a 2020 study in nutrients had people over 60 do either intermittent daily fasting every day, or they had normal eating. And they had these two groups follow the given plan for three years. After three years, what they found is that the fasting group had better cognition, better memory, and lower incidence of cognitive impairment and dementia. Okay, that's a huge finding. Because that means that those of you who are like, well, I'm not sure about fasting. I'm not sure about it for the postmenopausal woman. I'm just gonna eat well. You still do not get the same benefit eating well as you could with fasting. And it's all built around this ketone. So, and finally, I just wanna end on this one. And I know I'm, 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 sho I'm shoving the, the science down your throat, but I, I'm so passionate about postmenopausal women using fasting as a tool, not necessarily for weight loss, but for brain clarity because of this science. And the last one I'm gonna tell you is a 2023 review in the nutrition reviews that states that intermittent fasting has profound implications for dementia, particularly Alzheimer disease. And the authors note that fasting seems almost tailor-made, tailor-made to keep aging brains healthy because it decreases inflammation. It helps the brain clear out these amyloid beta proteins that can cause Alzheimer's. It improves overall cognitive function. It strengthens this connectivity. It improves the pathways in your hippocampus, which is where moods, the center of mood and memory. I cannot say enough. Those of you who ask me, should postmenopausal women fast? The answer is an, a resounding yes and it's all built around the brain. It is so powerful to, for the brain, I do not want you to miss it. This is why I wrote a whole book on it, because so many people were getting mixed messages about what postmenopausal women should be doing with fasting, and I am here to declare that it is one of the greatest brain tools an aging woman has. So as always, put in the comments if you've had a great brain experience, but I hope you're getting the message loud and clear. I want your brain sharp, the world needs you, and fasting is the most profound tool for the menopausal brain. Enjoy. I know you're struggling to lose weight. It may be your fasting length. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the perfect fasting length to unstick weight loss. In fact, it's such an incredible tool for weight loss. I think you should start with fasting before you change your food to be able to get into that door in for losing weight.